Welcome. In this video, we will use level zero sentences with a story. It will help you learn words and grammar. Chapter one, a lost bright stone. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful diamond called the moonstone, famous for its size and bright glow. The diamond had a special history, and many people wanted to own it because of its great value. The moonstone was stolen from a temple in a faraway country many years ago. It was said to bring bad luck to anyone who tried to keep it for themselves. One day, a rich family received the moonstone as a gift for their daughter's birthday. The daughter's name was Rachel, and she loved beautiful things, especially this rare and shining diamond. Rachel was excited to wear the moonstone at her birthday party, where all her friends would come. The diamond looked even more beautiful when the light hit it, shining like a small moon in the night. The party was full of laughter, music, and dancing, and everyone admired the moonstone on Rachel's neck. People whispered about the diamond's history, but Rachel didn't believe the stories of bad luck. After the party, Rachel went to bed, placing the moonstone in a box by her window. The moonlight came through the window, making the diamond glow in the dark room like magic. The next morning, Rachel woke up and reached for the box where she had kept the moonstone. But when she opened the box, the diamond was gone and Rachel screamed in shock and fear. The family searched the entire house, but the moonstone was nowhere to be found. Everyone was confused because no one had seen anyone take it during the night. Rachel's family called for help to find the lost diamond. A man named Sergeant Cuff, who was very good at solving mysteries, came to the house to investigate the disappearance of the moonstone. Sergeant Cuff asked many questions to everyone in the house, hoping to find some clues about the missing diamond. He looked around the rooms, checking every corner to find out what had happened. Sergeant Cuff believed that someone from the house had taken the moonstone because no stranger had entered during the night. He thought the answer to the mystery was closer than anyone knew. Rachel was very upset and did not want to believe that someone from her family or friends had taken the diamond. She stopped talking to people and stayed in her room feeling sad and confused. Sergeant Cuff began to suspect one of the servants who worked in the house. The servant had acted strangely the day after the party, and Cuff wanted to know more about what he had seen. The servant said he saw something strange outside the house on the night of the party. He had seen shadows moving near Rachel's window, but was not sure who or what it was. Sergeant Cuff continued to investigate, but the more questions he asked, the more complicated the mystery became. No one could explain what had really happened to the moonstone that night. Days passed and still, no one knew where the diamond had gone. Some people in the town started to believe the old stories about the Moonstone's curse, saying it brought bad luck to those who had it. Rachel refused to talk to anyone about the Moonstone, and people wondered if she knew more than she was telling. 
Sergeant Cuff thought she was hiding something important, but could not prove it. The mystery of the missing moonstone became the talk of the town, and everyone wanted to know the truth. Many people came to the house, hoping to help or to see the famous detective at work. One day, a letter arrived at the house, and it was addressed to Rachel. The letter was strange, with no name on it, and it made Rachel look even more worried than before. Sergeant Cuff took the letter and read it carefully, hoping to find a clue. The letter said that the moonstone would never be found and that Rachel should forget about it. The letter made everyone in the house more nervous, especially Rachel. She seemed to grow quieter and more distant, as if she knew something she could not say. Sergeant Cuff continued his investigation, not giving up on finding the truth. He searched the house again and again, looking for any small clue that could lead him to the missing moonstone. One night, as the house was quiet, Sergeant Cuff heard footsteps outside his room. He followed the sound, hoping to catch the person who might have the diamond. He saw a shadow moving toward Rachel's room, and he quickly followed. When he reached her door, he knocked softly, wondering if she was awake or if someone else was inside. Rachel opened the door, and she looked surprised to see Sergeant Cuff standing there. She said she couldn't sleep because she kept thinking about the moonstone and the mystery. Sergeant Cuff asked Rachel again, if she knew anything more about the missing diamond. She hesitated for a moment, then finally told him something she had been hiding for days. Rachel explained that she had seen someone take the moonstone the night of her party, but she didn't want to say who. She was protecting the person because she didn't believe they meant to steal it. Sergeant Cuff was surprised by Rachel's words and asked her to tell him everything. She said she saw one of her close friends take the diamond, but she didn't know why they would do it. Sergeant Cuff promised to help Rachel and find out why her friend had taken the diamond. He asked Rachel to trust him and to let him solve the mystery completely. Rachel agreed to help, and together they made a plan to find out the truth. She invited her friend back to the house for tea, hoping they would reveal more about the missing moonstone. During the visit, Rachel's friend seemed nervous, and Sergeant Cuff watched closely, waiting for the right moment to ask questions. He noticed how the friend avoided talking about the party and the diamond. Finally, Sergeant Cuff asked the friend directly if they knew anything about the missing moonstone. The friend looked surprised, but then confessed they had taken it by accident. The friend explained that they had been confused and didn't mean to steal the diamond. They thought it was something else and were too scared to return it after realizing the mistake. Sergeant Cuff and Rachel were relieved to hear the truth and the friend gave back the moonstone. The diamond was returned to Rachel and the mystery was finally solved. Rachel thanked Sergeant Cuff for his hard work, and the house was filled with happiness again. The moonstone shone brightly in its box, and everyone hoped it would never bring trouble again. 
The story of the missing moonstone was shared by many people, and everyone learned about the great detective's work. The mystery was over, but the legend of the diamond continued for years to come. And so, Rachel's life returned to normal, but she always remembered the mystery of the moonstone. She kept the diamond safe, knowing its beauty and its strange, mysterious history.